Brains. We need them to function, and zombies eat them because that's what they do. Hey, everyone's gotta eat. Dr. Kara Yopak is all about shark brains, and she has the jars to prove it at the Yopak Zombie Lab at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. That's right, Zombie Lab. Her research is uncovering what the shape and size of different areas in a shark's brain can tell us about their behavior. And she brought them with her today. Well, the 3D printouts anyway. I've looked at over 180 species so far. Um, I am our department's mad scientist, safe to say. Uh, and across 180 species, we've seen huge differences in the brain. In a lot of cases, those differences reflect an animal's ecology. I brought some brains for y'all to uh, take a gander at. So this is the brain of a spiny dogfish. This is the top, and this is the view from the side. So most people have either heard of or seen a spiny dogfish. They're pretty ubiquitous worldwide. They are benthopelagic, so they spend a lot of time associated with the seafloor, but they cruise just off of it. So the main thing with this is this is kind of what I call an average brain. So nothing's particularly enlarged in the brain of this species. So this is a mako, this is from the side. This is a mako shark brain from the top. Um, and again, really, really different. What's really big on these guys is the part of the brain that processes sight. So we assume makos um, are very visual animals. And then my favorite part of the brain, which is the cerebellum that's here, and that's the region associated with motor control. So we look at this brain and I can tell you this is probably a visual fast moving species. This is the brain of a great hammerhead shark. Absolutely massive um, and, and pretty remarkable in terms of its anatomy. So this is the side. This is it from the top. It's very kind of indented. It has a number of um, kind of folds and, and uh, a lot of definition in addition to just being really large. So in this species, what's particularly um, big is the region we associate with higher cognitive functions. So social learning, memory, um, particularly the region that we associate with social intelligence. So if you've ever seen hammerhead sharks, they're usually in schools. Um, they have some, some pretty complex migratory behaviors and they will segregate by sex and size. There, there's a lot of um, kind of social behaviors that they exhibit. What we think is really cool is once you look at a number of species, um, you can actually start to almost work in reverse and maybe predict the behavior of species that are hard to study in the wild. Kara used her brain research to look into the Greenland shark, which is difficult to study because it chills out under Arctic ice, and has come to some amazing conclusions on how it behaves just from its brain. Here's what she learned from the brain of this massive shark. Fun fact, they can live to be hundreds of years old. This was from over 300 kilogram animal. <laughs> the region of the brain that I showed you in mako sharks that was really large is this little bitty region right here. So this is somewhat suggestive of a slow moving sluggish predator that's not really very active or agile. This animal has olfactory bulbs that are over 30% of its brain. So that's kind of the smelling processing region. Uh, so they suggested that Arctic seals sleep in the water but they're releasing all sorts of juicy seal goodness when they sleep. So they're, they're like us, they sleep, they're immobilized, right? And so we suggested that um, these Greenland sharks are probably using these large olfactory bulbs following odor plumes to sleeping seals and getting them while they slumber. Kara loves brain so much that she even has a printout of her own brain. <laughs> So we do a lot of MRI in the lab. Mostly we image sharks, which is how I get these lovely 3D prints. But yeah, when I was a postdoc learning the imaging methods, um, all the postdocs would image each other to get training. And so I always had an MRI of my own brain. And when I started 3D printing my sharks, I was like, how nerdy am I? It turns out so nerdy. And you should also comment on how large it is. <laughs> Brain. Brains. Ahem. Brains. Hope you enjoyed learning about shark brains. You can hear more about Dr. Yopak's research into shark brains and why her trunk looks like it belongs to a serial killer on the Shark Tales podcast. Find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.